All right, we are back with the Convergence mod, and today we are choosing the Vulcanist class. Choosing the Enchanted Remnant, as always. That sword looks sick. All right, let's get into the run. All right, we spawn in Kaelid over in this custom Volcano Manor looking area. We have Molten Stride, which I accidentally used, which seems to... <laughs> <laughs> Does it just follow your feet? That's funny. Uh, I can't wait to annoy bosses with this. We start with the Lava Staff and the Faint Rune of Magma. Let's pop this to see if there's anything else. So there's Lava Dart, Magma Shot, and Molten Stride. Fires a small lump of lava that bursts on impact. You know, a pretty basic spell. Magma Shot fires a lump of magma that explodes on contact. Uh, charging enhances potency. And then we have the Molten Stride. Causes the caster to conjure pools of lava underneath their feet causing damage to any enemy that steps on them this effect lasts 30 seconds our starting armor gives us int and faith by one reduces fp cost of sorceries by a percentage let us see kill him runes which i believe is the, this this area right here the volcano manor given by tanith after after defeating juno hoslo and the radiant rune is found after defeating theodorix uh the sets are in tanith's corpse gelmir hero's grave and juno hoslo swords as uh, molten sword blasphemous blade magma blade magma worm skill sword devour scepter seething flail inquisitors gerundal the magma whip candlestick and the lodestone of Gel and the man serpent shield i guess we'll head into here and look for our rune but yeah you guys said that you do want to see another melee class uh my most requested melee classes were retainer and the dex only one so i think i'll do both of those i also want to try one of the marksman classes i know i'm gonna suffer horribly uh just because i've never really truly given bow combat a fair chance i think that'll be funny all right so we got lava dart let's try this out okay it yep oh it spawns a pool at their feet that's actually really good molten stride on and just run around him i want to make like a, a ring of doom so he's kind of stuck just run laps <laughs> and he's just burning up let's charge up the magma shot here oh my god that did a lot of damage let's give it to him again okay we hit his head there so he didn't do as much damage stay back spam this all right let's try this ash of war magma shower all right he did a spinning attack now it's our turn all right it has a nice follow-up jump hit oh whoa 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 watch out get behind him here out. all right let's go for this oh that did a double slash oh that was clean all right that was a easy first boss let's head into here and grab the shimmering rune of magma all right let's pop this burning rancor familial consumption and lava spray so rancor that's just the skulls uh summons a swarm of burning spirits that seeks out foes and explodes on impact all right these are usually always decent restores hp fp and sp sp is that stamina points upon defeating enemies also when an enemy dies you gain 10 percent additional fire damage to your attacks Ooh. okay i like that it lasts for three minutes so we'll have to like pop this constantly when we're just roaming and then we have lava spray fires a volley of magma at foes that bursts upon Upon impact that seems just to just be a better magma shot all right i think now because the next rune is in the volcano manor i think now we go gather all of our sacred tears memory stones and golden seeds so we'll be back when we uh when we do all that fun stuff All right, let's throw on burning rancor and lava spray now we're going to try and grab some weapons before we head over to the volcano manor starting with the gale tunnel all right let's head into the boss room which is a magma worm we're going to try out the burning rancor here charge it up okay they just sort of oh my god they just go at them that's crazy okay we'll try the lava spray oh let's cut it a little close all right it has a large charge up but didn't seem to be that great oh it has like a huge spread hold on if we can like hit him at the front it's doing okay damage oh i'm gonna do what you do to me all right i'm gonna use molten stride because you want to put lava everywhere let's see how it feels all right buddy I'm gonna run circles around you to make sure you're stuck in it yeah bathe in it all right just gonna start slashing away at him here ow oh my gosh he does damage this guy is gonna be a little tougher than i thought because you know obviously he's gonna 
resist everything I go for, and he's just gonna pummel me, and I am dead. All right, enhance charge spells and skills. We'll throw on the Godfrey icon. We're gonna boost fire damage negation. I just feel like overall for us, that's good. All right, so I've decided that we need more FP and HP. So I don't think Grail's very doable with what we have. So we're gonna do the next best thing and go cheese the Knight's Calvary. There we go. Nice. All right, level up. We're going to put Vigor 220 and Mind 225, and then we'll throw the one level into Endurance. All right, let's try this again. Oh yeah, this is doing good damage now. Oh, we got a Poise Break. Let's go. Give me that. Boom. All right, now we are doing some decent damage. Almost 300 for the charged one due to the Talisman. And we can do a lot more shots with this FP, which is crazy good. And because we don't take much fire damage, as you can see, <laughs> we're chilling. Just gotta dodge his swings. Oh, another poise break. Honestly, I think we just keep doing this. Because we're doing good damage, and the riposte wasn't doing that much damage. Jump hits, jump hits, jump. Oh. And let me know in the comments below if you guys plan on playing Lies of P when it comes out. Because uh, that is a game that is coming very soon. I am looking forward to it quite a bit. Chill. Alright. Uh, we should be able to finish him here. Nice. Magmorm dead. And we get the Molten Sword. Wait, is that what my dumbass just... I don't even want to talk about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has range. I didn't realize it had that much range. Oh my god frames yeah let's let's make these useful all right let's uh jump hits follow it up give them the good pokes dodge jump hits and finish off the earth tree avatar with our double sword all right let's go get some more weapons while we're up here we're gonna pick up all of these uh golden seeds all right we are here that should be the flightless bird painting giving us the magma blade oh my god this thing looks cool magma shower is it's the same ash of war but the blade looks cooler but it needs nine strength 15 decks i don't really want to use magma worm scale sword or devour scepter as i've played around with both of those in the base game same with the blasphemous blade so everything is basically in the uh, volcano manor guess we'll head over to the volcano manor i'm assuming one is going to be at the boss fight in the volcano manor not the uh godskin guy and there might even be one at the the magma worm down here Man, Serpent Shield, is that part of our kit? Yep. Okay, so we found one weapon. Although I don't think this thing is going to, uh... Oh, increases magma sorceries by 10%. Hey, yo, hold on. This thing, I was about to say, I don't think this thing is going to see the light of day, but you give me 10% more damage? Hey, yo, I think uh, we might have to dabble. There is the see see thing Flail. We might actually have to use this thing. It looks pretty sick. Um, it's 10 strength, 16 dex. I wonder where the rune's gonna be. All right, let's take on the Magma Worm. This is just gonna be a repeat fight. We're just gonna do the exact same sort of thing. Oh my God, he takes no damage. Hello? Are those even doing damage to him? I don't think he does, takes damage. This, that's, what? His HP bar, bar didn't move. There was no numbers. He's not real. I'm looting your area. Oh, I am dead. All right, let's hop down here. And make our way over to the battle. All right, let's head into the fight. All right, there she is, the abductor virgin. Get magma shot. Oh, I got a poise break. I mean, she's wide open for me. Boom, look at that damage. Wait, I'll pause. That's not, that's not what I meant. Uh, that was, anyways. Pop this on, let's get nice and close and run a circle around her. Get another poise break there. Go for this. Let out some rancors. Nice. Another poise break. Do a big old lava spray. Charge it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, my FPS is gone. I wonder what the range is on this. That's like covering the whole area. That's crazy. All right, another poise break. Boom. Hey, whoa, whoa, chill, chill, chill. You know, you're not great for me. Let's charge this up. Nice damage. I think we'll just stick to spamming Lava Dart. I think we'll just stick to spamming Lava Shot. Because it's doing good damage and leaving it at her feet, which is so nice. 
and she is dead, giving me the Inquisitor's Girondel, which needs 1515. Hey, whoa, it has, wait, it has blood loss? That's sick. Grab this, that's, oh my god, the Serpent Hunter. <laughs> I'm glad we came down here then. Well, I guess we should go take on the Godskin Noble and explore the upper area, because I didn't find the rune at all, and I pretty much explored everywhere, I want to say. So let's hit him with some lava darts here. Oh, it's doing no damage. Okay. How about Magma Shot? Is it doing any better? A little bit. We'll go for the uh, Ash of War there. And I think we'll mainly uh, stick to Magma Shot. Charge it up. There we go. G good damage. The puddle it leaves is really nice too, because if he like ends up staying in one spot, it chips him. All right, let's get some attacks in here. Ow. Oh, he does damage. I don't know if there's another staff. Because I haven't come across another staff yet. I feel like it would be here if there was one. Because I don't want to upgrade this staff until we do have... Until we confirm that there is no other one. But because it doesn't tell you, sometimes I miss those sort of things. So we will see. He is doing so much damage. I don't think we get him this run. Oh, I didn't, shouldn't have done that. Okay, charge this up while he's doing that. Okay, he's going to go into roly-poly mode. Dodge. Nice. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're so dead. No heals. Let's use Rancor, see if that's any better. Oh, only one of them hit there. Whew. Oh, we're so close. We trained- we changed the strat. We've just been, uh, using this, uh, Mel Molten Stride here. Kiting him, going for this whenever we can. And then, besides that, we're just spamming a mix of Magma Shot and uh, Lava Dark, because he's constantly following us, so he's constantly in our lava. Uh, that was a crazy cancel by him. Uh, okay. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I don't have any more heals. I don't have healing, this is scary. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Come on, come on. Burn, 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 no, uh, burn. Die! Oh. Okay. Alright, let's level up our dex to 15. Now we just need our strength up to 15 and we can use the bleed weapon. And it better be back here. Like, if I just missed it in the Volcano Manor and I just spent so much time here, I'll be a little upset. Oh, oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Ah, the glowing croon of magma. Let us pop that. The Roiling Magma, Gelmir's Fury, Blasphemer's Outrage, and Lava Pool. These all look sick. Alright, fires a lump of condensed magma that explodes a short delay after hitting the target. Charging enhances potency and further delays the explosion. Conjures a surge of magma from the earth, covering the area. Charging extends the surge of magma. I think this one's in base game. I, I This sort of looks familiar. Blasphemer's Outrage. Increase all weapon damage damage by 10% and reduces weapon stamina by 25% while also lowering defenses by 20%. Ooh, don't know if I like that one. Lowering defenses is iffy. Lava pool. Conjure a large pool of lava at your feet, causing damage to any enemy that touches it. All right, and this is 24-24. All right, let's uh, continue exploring here and grab this load. What the heck? Oh my god is this the hammer from or is this the axe from dark souls 3 the the demon axe this thing is sick nah nah 100 percent we're using this that's crazy okay um wow just just wow i guess now we start our assassination missions all right let's throw on roiling magma and gilmer's fury all right let's invade all right let's try the roiling magma here we'll charge it up oh oh that's a long shot oh my gosh Oh, wow, it's like mines. What the heck? All right, we'll try the fury. Let's charge it to full. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, it's like a sprinkler. All right, let's use the molten stride and just run away. <laughs> like we can go for a hit here, back up, and just let him suffer. And we just bait out his attacks. Ow, ow, whoa, 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 chill. Nice. Okay, we're getting close. Just gotta keep kiting here. Go for this. Back up and let him burn. <laughs> nice. Alright, who's next? Alright, what do you have for me? Magma sh 
We already have that hoe. Alright, let's get the next note. I remember this guy being pretty annoying due to the fact that he has a bow. So I don't know if we'll be able to uh, kite him as well as we just did the other guy. All right, let's invade. And I think we're going to go for the same strategy here, uh, if it'll work. So Molten Stride, just kiting. And then whenever we can, we get this off, because that stuns them out of attacks. And as long as... Yep, okay, it's working so far. Make sure he doesn't bow us. Keep doing this, and we're just going to repeat this until uh, we eventually... Kill him. Oh my gosh, we got Scarlet Rot. I didn't realize that his weapon did that. So we have to kill him a- oh, it's his bow shots. Okay, we have to kill him quickly. Let's just get in there. One, two, three. Just straight melee and finish him off. We got a Enchanted Remnant. I'll gladly take that. And we got the Serpent Bone Blade, which we will not be using. And I think this is the final Hitman mission. But we have to head up to the mountaintop of the Giants. Alright, Mr. Oslo, you are the one that is in my way, stopping me from getting what I need. So we're gonna do to you what I did to the rest and make fools at your feet. Oh my gosh, your whip is terrifying. Uh, do this. Nice, it does cancel him as well. But he has rangy attacks. So that's the only difference here. Well, honestly, we could just infinitely kite him. We don't lose anything from running away. And he will be taking constant damage. I wonder if this will be any good. Because they do track, right? Oh, yeah, they're pelting him. Oh, it's that last one, though. It isn't the most efficient way, but we'll get it done. This is so funny, just watching him just watching him run at me and just chip away because he's running right into my pools is kind of hilarious. Like, he, he seems so unbothered by just being burnt alive. <laughs> oh gosh, we're on 1 HP. Oh, 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 wait, wait, oh, we didn't die. I thought we died there. Alright, let us... Alright, I think we need better armor, so we are going to head to the Mount Gelmir Hero's Grave to get the Gelmir's Knight set. Let's ride by you and hop over here. And we are here. All right, let us head down. Oh, oh gosh, we, uh, it's gonna be close. Oh, 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 we made, oh, what the? <laughs> Glad we made that just to jump right back into it. I think we can, yeah, drop down here. All right. Oh, no, no way you heard me. You cheating for real. Ah, ah, my bad, you heard me pull it. Charge this up, launch those at him. All right, let's use Gelmir's Fury here and hook him to death. Nice. Oh, there's Bloodhound Knight Armor. And there is my Gelmir Armor. Int Faith and Endurance by one and increases all fire damage by a percentage. All right, then I wonder if the boss has anything for us. We'll go check it out anyways. All right, allow us to drop on the horse. Okay, that's not how I wanted to happen. Ah, ah, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, we made it, we made it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna pot and then realize that I was falling through it. All right, who do we got in here? Red Wolf of the Champion. Gotcha, all right, Magma Shot. Good damage. This thing's gonna get shredded by most things we do. Okay, let's go for it here. Oh, didn't cancel him at all. It does a lot of damage. All right, let's charge this up. They should track him down, doing a good amount of damage. Yes, sir. All right, let's toss these at him. Nice. Okay, he dived right into our magma. We're going for Gelmir's Fury again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, cook him up, cook him up, cook him up. Nice. Oh, that's pretty strong the way you can just hold it. Oh, Lava Stone st Staff, finally. A better staff. Skill Eruption, hold what? Huh? Let us see what this weapon skill does. Okay. It does indeed erupt. All right, let's put these levels into something and then take on Hot Hoslo. All right, this is what we're gonna do for quick level trick scheme. We're going to put our strength by 10 in this physic here. I know it doesn't last that long, but hopefully it'll be enough. So then we put on the bleed weapon here and then we drink our flask, giving us enough strength to wield it. Oh, I did not mean to pop the golden pickle foul foot. That is unfortunate. And then we just start attacking away with it. All right, we got Grail. Nice. I realized once my pot wore out that because I was two-handing it, 
I, I could use it anyways. <laughs> That's okay. Braille is defeated. Now do we go for this? So we're gonna go 2020 here and we have one more level so we'll put it into vigor. And that gives me 25, 25 total. It means we are one step closer to wielding this bad boy as well as while also giving us access to all the spells we currently have. So we're going to throw on, we're going to throw on Lava Pool, uh, Molten Stride, Gelmir's Fury, Roiling Magma, Burning Rancor, and Magma Shot. All right, we're just gonna keep kiting him with Stride, fire off Magma Shots whenever we can, because he will try to attack us and it cancels him every time. So we're just gonna rely on that. Oh, he got the hit off there before we could get this off. We're gonna charge this one. Nice. Boom. All right, finish off Hoslo here. Go in for melee. I totally forgot I didn't have the shield on the whole time. That's what I was going for, was shield, but it is what it is. We defeated him regardless, giving us Hoslo's set, which I guess we will switch over to. It gives Int and Faith by two, reduces weapon stamina cost by 2%, and increases weapon fire damage by 1%. Our Enchanted Remnant and the Shining Rune of Magma. Finally got it. Pop this. Pyroclasm, uh, Lava Blast, Rykard's Rancor, and Lava Bomb. Rykard's Rancor is going to be sick. So Rykard's Rancor summons, summons searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosions in their wake. A very, very strong spell. Cause magma to rip open the earth in front of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> That is crazy. Fire a continuous spray of lava at enemies charging increases duration of the spray. Okay. And launch a large lump of magma upwards and then fall on foes and explodes on impact. And that one needs 33, 33. All right, so we are going to throw on the Rancor. We're gonna throw on Pyroclasm, try it out. And let's do some remnant crafting here. Increase all fire damage by 7.5. We'll grab that and we'll grab Erdtree's favor. And now we are going to take on the Magma Worm in the Consecrated Snowfields. All right, there he is, the Great Worm. Can you just cheese this guy from being up here? We're gonna go grab this legendary item regardless. Ancient Smithing Stone, we'll take that. I guess we'll, uh, we'll start firing off right cards ranker and just watch it oh my god he did so much damage to me there okay we're not doing a lot of damage to him we'll use right cards rancor there and then uh get down lower use the pyroplasm oh my god he died for us we're gonna use the rolling magma because he's gonna be stuck in one place so if they land on the ground they will be exploding under him got the nice mines here <laughs> Well, they were doing so much damage to him, leaving a huge pool of magma underneath him. This stuff is crazy. Oh, that's perfect. We don't want them to hit him. We want them to land in front of him. Oh, we, po we poise broke him there. Oh, we're in the lava. And we're just going to keep spamming away with this stuff because it is just so strong. Okay, standing up. Now he means business. Let's try to get an angle on him. So there we go. And target his lower so then they'll land below him. Nice. Make sure we don't get hit by that. And make sure he gets exploded on. <laughs> nice. A poise break there. That is huge. Let's go for the lava spray. Charge this bad boy up. Send it out. Nice. Just absolutely drench him. Okay. Launch these at him. They are connecting. Honestly, that's fine. They are still doing good damage. Oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't realize how much damage the con the raw connection was doing. And that gives us the Radiant Rune of Magma. That was such a free Radiant Rune. And that gives us access to Inferno Magma Missile, missile Vortex of Igle, Embrace the Devourer. Embrace the Devourer sounds sick. We got the Vortex. Opens a portal in the sky that cons that calls down a massive swarm of burning vengeful spirits that seeks out foes and explodes on impact. <laughs> what? Fire a seething mass of lava at enemies and explodes on impact. Okay, we got a lot of exploders. Conjure a volcanic eruption at your feet, causing chaos and destruction all around you. What? And then we have the final one, which is gain an effect that adds 1% additional HP, FP, and SP and 1% additional damage every time an enemy dies. This ability stacks up to 10 times. The effect never expires. Okay, so we can just go kill a bunch of like random shitters 
and then go into a boss fight just buffed by 10%. I'll gladly take that. And at long last, we are going to take on Margit. This has been such a long setup, but we have a lot of cool toys to play around with because we can level up strength up to 25 and then play around with the big axe. But right now we are going to focus on the spells. But we're definitely going to bring that thing out. So we'll do 25, 25, and then Vigor to 22. And let us see, what spells does that give us access to? All right, so we have Vortex here. We got Lava Bomb, Lava Blast, we can try this for real this time because it wasn't really doing anything from above. Uh, we have Rikard's Rancor and then we got to throw the mines back on, right? The Roiling Magma. Before we uh, take on Margit, we're actually going to see if we can upgrade our staff. I didn't even think of that now that we have the good one. All right, let's strengthen the Lava Stone staff. Boom, boom. Let's see how high we can go. I'm not too sure what I've gathered so far. Plus seven isn't bad at all. All right, Margit, let's do this. I'm going to try out the Vortex first. All right, can we parry this? Ow. Oh my god. What? Oh, this is literally Rikard's attack. This thing's sick. Okay, we can parry him and just allow them to do all the work. Oh my god. Do you see how many are still after him? That's crazy. That was just one vortex. All right, let's try Lava Bomb now. Use this. All right, let's pop it again. Okay, and it's like a distance thing. I wonder if it'll hit him in the air. Ah, oh, all right, let's attempt to do Lava Blast. Oh my God, <laughs> that thing looks crazy. Okay, we're going to parry here, so we can try this out. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't even know what I was looking at there. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, let's try Pyroclasm here. Pop this. Oh, wow. That thing's strong. All right, and I guess we'll, we'll summon a Vortex while we fight him, because it might as well. All right, let's pop this. Start burning him alive. Dodge. Yeah, and we'll summon the right card ranker on him as well. So they're all just, he's just getting overwhelmed. Let's throw some bombs at him. The mines. Oh my God, there's so much going on. All right, I'm going to change settings to low, just because that thing is eating the bit rate. All right, now we'll go to Godric and then we will go take on Rikard next. All right, Godric, hope you are ready to get absolutely owned just like Margit. We're gonna summon the Vortex. Let's see how far this thing goes. Oh yeah, it has a range. Oh yeah. All right, re-drink this, drink our, uh... <laughs> Watch this, look at them just track him down. I wonder if we could like set these off like in front of them. Let's do that. Okay. Let's spam him with these. Okay, he's poise broken. Let's plant these at his feet. Let's watch them do damage. Let's see. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, we're summoning another vortex and he is phase shifted. Gonna get close up to him and just spawn these at his feet because they are just doing crazy amounts of damage. Let's throw the lava bomb and just watch his HP absolutely drain. We're just gonna back up here and spam it. Out. Does it connect? Yes, it does. All right, we'll use Rikard's Rancor here. We will spawn this again. All right, he is poise broken, so we're gonna go for Lava Blast to finish off Godric the Grafted here. <laughs> this stuff is so strong. That is... I, this is crazy, dude. I never thought fire stuff would be this good. Because whenever I've used any fire stuff, it's been pretty underwhelming. This stuff is crazy though. We now have the first keystone of the forge and some decent levels to play with. All right, we're gonna put on Godric's Great Rune. Let us level up, put int by one. We It takes a lot of levels to level up now. And now I think we'll go challenge Rikard. I don't know how well this is gonna go. So we have the Serpent Hunter as a backup, but hopefully we don't need it because I think he's gonna resist most, if not everything we go for. All right, let's head over to Rikard. We now have access to Magma Missile. So we'll throw that on and see how <laughs> that that works but i'm expecting this to go horribly oh okay it actually the vortex is doing good damage to him let's try out the magma missile here oh my god that did good damage i right, suit so again smack the snake head and we're just gonna prioritize it okay we get him down uh oh, i drank the wrong pot i want to uh that's not what i wanted to do so that works, I guess. I want to throw the missiles down so he'll walk into them. All right, keep that head low. Oh yeah, we'll get, get into them. Oh my God. 
<laughs> that dude is so much damage. Alright, we want to make sure we clear constantly Vortex. Uh, we'll use this move here, the Pyroclasm. Uh, we'll use this one as well. And spam this. Nice. Okay, we got another Poise Break. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of FP. Uh, we'll launch the Magma Missile at his face and do it again. And that is phase one. That was surprisingly easy. And we're going to use this again. The Vortex will send out the regular Rykard Ranker here. And then we'll start throwing bombs at his face. Okay, they landed under him, which is perfect. Okay, get ready for this attack here. Oh, he's bringing a hit here. Okay, we want to make sure that these are planted under him. Oh, okay. Oh, ow, ow, ow. All right, Magma Missile. Oh, that boy's broke him. Huge. All right, let's go for the Fire Blast. Melts his HP a little bit. He's doing the Vortex, and we also have Vortex up, so I don't know which one's coming for me. We're going to kite all the skulls here. Try to get hit by that and fire off lava bombs occasionally. Ow. All right, let's pop these. One two three they're doing nice damage to his face oh we are out of fp all right jump hit jump hit nice poise break here we will use this to summon the vortex and i guess we'll charge this up go for these ow oh he got me all right so we're gonna be relying on roiling magma for all of our damage here but even if it directs hits it's doing a lot of damage but we do want it to be like three planted near him so then when it explodes it's just going to do so much damage like let's watch this explode like look at that damage and then the other one's going to explode and do so much so we're just going to plant a bunch under him going to heal up here and going to keep going for it keep planting him at his feet because these mines are just way too good and that should finish off right card there. That should be in radius. Dodge, and there he is dead. Uh, this stuff is, is too good. And there is our second keystone of the forge. Let us level up. So we want to get to 30, 30, and that will give us access to all of the spells. So right now we are one faith away from having it all. And let's take off Pyroclasm and throw on Inferno. We want to try that bad boy out. And then we will craft the Coal of the Forge, giving us 10 extra fire damage. And I was made aware that these do stack, but I... So we are going to stack them right now. <laughs> now it's time to make way up to more gots. All right, let's test out the Inferno. We'll pop it right here. Oh my god. Oh, wait, it does mines? Holy! Ah. Sorry, I was taking in everything. I, I'm coming back to ruin you, but just what? All right, we'll hit him with the Vortex, and then we will let off the Inferno here. Nice, we get the dodges off, let's try to bait him into two explosions, and then we can just run around freely here, and he's just gonna- Vortex is hunting him down, let's use Lava Bomb, oh wait, that's the wrong one. Oh my god, look at all the little skulls hunting him down, there's so many, and let's use Roiling, just set up some mines here, and just let's see if we can get him to stay on top of them. Alright, this is working so far. Oh my god, you know how much 8 damage that did? I think we're gonna try it again. Oh yeah, you can yeah, you can do that all you want. Boom. <laughs> 2600. And send some magma missiles his way. Magma missile, boom. Hit him with the vortex, followed by the Rykard's Ranker. Hunt him down, boys. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I can't even comprehend what's happening right now. Ow. Send the magma missile his way. Oh my god, and another one, and another one, and we finish off <laughs> Segure. And we have the Great Mace that we know too well. Now we have access to all the spells, and we can start bringing that strength up. Alright, Morgoth, let's do this. Let's use the Vortex here on him to watch him get hunted down. Oh my gosh, he did a lot of damage there. Alright, while he's getting pelted by that, let's go for Inferno, see if we can get it off. Because his area is quite big, so we can try to bait him into some explosions. <laughs> nice. Uh, use Vortex, just make sure he's constantly getting uh, hunted down. Alright, and time to just throw these at him. Yep, right under him, come on. He doesn't 
Yeah, I was gonna say, he's not gonna be one that really gets affected by them too much because he moves a lot. But this Magma Missile is doing so much damage. Let's wait until he is out of his transition. All right, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Uh, dodge. Okay. <laughs> Lava blast. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get out, get out. Nice. All right. Let's summon this Rancor. All right. Let's send some magma missiles his way to finish off more gods. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. I can't get over how broken these classes are. It's so much fun. Okay, we got our strength up to 17. We're slowly getting there. We're gonna take off Rikard's Rancor to throw on the Embrace, the Devourer. So we're gonna. Toggle that, and then we're just gonna grind some little guys to kill 10 of them, just to get that buff. Wait, do these guys count? Can I just kill this guy? Oh my god, the freaking little rats and stuff count. The rabbits and goats count. This is crazy. Now let's see if this stays with us as we teleport around. It does not seem to, because we do not have a glow anymore. All right, so we need to grind 10 random enemies pre-boss. Gotcha. Can't just go kill bunnies and then teleport over to a boss. <laughs> Understandable. All right, let's head over to Ferrum. All right, let's take on Lanceax. Here she comes. All right, and we're going to use Vortex immediately. Let's try Lava Blast. Oh, okay, we are connecting. Ow, ow, ow. Let's get to her toes and spam some of these mines. Nice. Get all these in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Lava Bomb. Watch it go up, and we'll use Roiling Magma. Oh, there she goes. All right, let's fire off some Magma Missiles at her face. Oh my gosh, there is so much going on. Actually, let's go under her and proc Inferno. Let's see how this does right underneath her. Oh my gosh. And I think she dies to the explosions. Yep, she does. I think we're gonna cheese Plasutisax with the Lava Bomb. All right, let us level up our strength up to 19. We are getting closer. I think we're only gonna be able to use it up for like the last fights. Now let's see if Lava Bomb has the range to absolutely destroy Plasutisax. I wonder if this will go to him too. All right, we'll pop Vortex. Let's get out. They are going to him and now we'll try Lava Bomb. Yep, it does reach. All right, you know how we doing. We're going to be using both. We're going to make sure Vortex is constantly on. Ow, we're going to hit here. And then we're going to spam Lava Bomb. All right, go for it there. Then we run, and then we go for it again. And then we run, and we're just going to repeat this process until Plasutisax is dead. Let's get greedy with it. Pop two. Okay, we get the poise break. That's huge. Oh, this takes a lot of FP, though. I don't know if we'll have enough. We'll have to like play very slow, but we're just gonna sit here and spam and see how much damage we can do in this quick period of time. All right, we did like 7K. 7K per poise break is <laughs> insane. I love how the, uh, the lava bomb looks in the sky, like when it's going to him. I love just watching it like, boom, but it's like a meteorite almost. Poise broken, so we're just going to go all in here. And we're actually out of FP pods, so we're just gonna have to play the long game after this. So we're just gonna have to wait for our FP to naturally regen. All right, we have Vortex here, and this should be enough to finish him off. All right, go Lost Souls, go get him. I believe in you guys. Oh, come on. Reach him. There we go. They're doing damage. Come on, finish him. Uh, and Plusudasax is defeated. Everything in this class is, is visually so cool. All right, and we can get the 25 strength. That is crazy. And we're gonna change our great rune to more gots so we can get the increased mind. And we have the axe. Let's see what Magma Crush does. Okay. And it has a nice follow-up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing is crazy. We're actually going to craft maximum equip load because this does put us over, unfortunately. So I'll need to throw this on. Let's see if we do have any stones to level this bad boy up. Both our staff. Okay, we don't have the ancient and then we can level this up as much as we can. All right, so we are at both plus nine. Oh, no, sorry, we are plus eight and plus nine. Wait, we are still heavy load with this as well? Oh my gosh, this thing weighs so much. Like if I use this, I cannot have this on. I can't have any spells. All right, let's make our way up to the lion. All right, we're gonna use magic for this boss here. I, but she's gonna be hard to use the mines on. So I think we stick to like the magma missile. Boom, does a lot of damage. 
and it's quick cast. So I can just run and then use it and just keep fighting her. Oh, I'm getting smoked too. Oh, she like missed horribly. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to get into position to use Inferno. All right, let's go for it here. Come on. Let's let it go. Oh my God, oh my God. I never fully used it. Oh, oh. <gasps> what just happened? <sighs> Fire Blast. Dodge. I am in shock of what we just did to this poor lion. Oh, I gotta do it again. Oh yeah. Let's reposition herself. All right. Let's try to position ourselves to do it again. All right, I think we can get it here. And we're just gonna hold all the way. Oh, okay, she canceled, but... <laughs> All right, for Malakath, we will actually throw on the uh, axe, though. All right, let us grab this ancient somber stone to use on our staff. Ow. Let us try to get the Ash of War off here. Boom, and... Okay, we couldn't get the follow-up off, unfortunately. All right, we'll throw the pots. Oh, I mean, they're, they're doing some damage. I can't take the credit away from them. Oh my god, they're actually doing some decent damage. Jump hits. Aww. All right, we switched armor to Gelmir's just because it gives endurance, which will be clutch. We also replaced our god free icon with the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. All right, so what I'm going to try to do is get a poise break, because if I can do that, then I can probably get the ash, full Ash of War off to showcase it. Jump hits. Oh, get back here. Go for hits. Because we're doing a lot of damage. Okay, back up. Ow. Oh, but he also does so much damage. Jump hits. Nice. Jump hits. I just want to stay on him. Try to not let pressure off. But we also don't want to die. <laughs> Jump hits. Jump hits. Good poise break. All right, let's go for it here. Boom. Oh, I didn't do the follow-up. Oh, we... I messed up the follow-up. Well, we're at Malekith now, and I don't think he's gonna be very nice and let me attempt it. I may be here. We go for it here, go for it, come on. Oh, oh, we're totally dead. Yeah, just, if we get caught by one of those, we die because of our vigor. All right, we switched over to Rykard's Great Rune because it gives 20% HP, so hopefully this will be enough. And we are back to Malekith. Jump hits, nice damage. Get another one. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's go for it. Oh, we don't have the stamina to go for the full thing. It's cursed. We're not allowed to get it off. Jump hits. One, two, uh-oh, uh-oh. Chill. Back up. We gotta stay at full health because we can die from absolutely anything. Can't disrespect Malekith, that's for sure. Jump hits. Go for a regular hit here. Jump hit. All right, we're getting very close. Oh, just go for it. Just go for the, this. Yes, nice. One, two. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay, we can actually live it now. Oh, oh no, don't choke. Oh God, oh no. Okay, heal. We are not choking this. We're gonna go for it though. Go for this and... <laughs> I mean, it shows us the damage it would have done, but I don't get the satisfaction. Malaketh is dead. Uh, we're switching back to spells for Fire Giant, <laughs> but I am a big fan of this axe. All right, now let's level up our vigor as much as we can. I am not struggling like that anymore. That was horrible. I actually want to get to his feet and use Inferno just to see how crazy it's going to be on the Fire Giant. All right, we are right beside him. Let us let off the full Inferno. Unfortunately, he moved his leg away. But it's still gonna do crazy damage. Okay, let's see. That was honestly disappointing. I'm gonna get smoke here, I'm not. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. Okay, we got the break here. Let's do pyroclasm to his ankle. 
Okay. All right, let's throw these at his ankle here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's throw it at his. Uh, ah. Ow. All right. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. Uh, nice. Thirty-six hundred. All right. Let's uh, give him vortex here, and let's fire off some magma missiles. These aren't doing a lot to the fire giant, but I am trying to do fire damage to the fire giant, so. I can only expect, expect something like that was gonna happen. Like, it's not bad damage, it's not as much as I was expecting. Like, if I throw on the axe, for example, um, and then do the Ash of War here, 3k, 3.6, it's about the same. And I think where we're really gonna get our damage is if we just spam Boiling Magma into him. Let's hit him in the eye with it. Oh, 2400. All right, we just gotta aim for his head. Uh, let's go for Inferno here. Doing a good amount of damage, nice. A <laughs> good 2k. Okay, we're pulling out the axe. We now have heavy roll, but that's okay. We just gotta get a couple hits off here. Boom, jump, hit. So we are all out of FP here. Honestly, if we can stay on horse and just get these hits in, that's probably optimal. Since we're heavy load. Oh, we're so close. Oh, one more hit. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Ah. No, no. He let off his own mines and they all spawned at his freaking kneecap. I found out I was just been prolling because this is doing so much damage to him. Like, as long as we're hitting his weak points, this thing is just shredding him. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, I don't know why I tried to stray, stray away from broiling magma. It is just so much better than everything. Go for it here on his hand, and he's 2300, and we'll be able to finish him off here. Oh, he's, oh, we got him there, nice. It would be so cool to use this thing, but uh, we are not the chosen one for this weapon. All right, let's level up our vigor, because our next fight is against T-Man of Melee. We're going to go back to the Gelmir set for the endurance, and we don't really have anything to help us with melee in this run like there's no uh, melee specific buffs like the one that gives us more melee damage also makes it so we take more damage oh scarred how you stress me out every playthrough all right let us commence the battle of the ages come here scarred you damn fool let's get this off immediately huge damage uh hold on we are still heavy rolling what did i do wrong uh, let's take off this, put this on. Okay, now we will be not heavy rolling. Boom, boom, that's a lot better. We're taking a lot less damage. All right, jump, hit. Oh, this thing is so strong. Okay, we're gonna make sure we stay up full. Uh, dodge this, drink this flask, mainly so we can get our uh, strength up with it. And go choose this again, a nice 3k. He's now in his like phase two. We're gonna dodge backwards here. Get a nice double, get a nice hit on him there. Jump, hit, oh. Dodge, let's charge this up. Oh ho ho ho. And we can get the repost off. That is massive, that was a dirty hit. Oh, can we get this off? Oh, he took off. Oh, he just totally intercepted me, like he just, we just got penetrated. Dodge, okay. Chill. Jump, hit. Oh, we're getting gripped. Oh, that did good damage. Oh, that's scary. Dodge, okay. One, two. Jump, hit, and he is dead. What a beast of a weapon. Now I'm going back to my safety spells. All right, we are at Godfrey. Let's use Vortex immediately to hunt him down. I actually want to get Inferno off if we can. Let's dodge this. Oh, we're going for it, prick it. Ow. It'd be nice to get Inferno off, but it's going to be difficult. I feel like our reliable damage is this Magma Missile because it's doing some decent damage. And, you know, obviously quick cast. He's just slowly getting chips. I mean, if you want to walk towards me, I'll gladly take that. 
Alright, we're going for it. Inferno time. Let us get it off. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Oh my god. I can't see. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for Gelmir's Fury here. Aww. Uh, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Yeah, Magma Missile is just going to be the best choice here. Okay, we face shifted him, but this thing's still going to go off. Alright, we weren't in the, the range of it, thankfully. Oh, we're dead. There's no way we live this. We lived it. I lied. All right, Vortex, do your thing. All right, we're going for Inferno here. Uh, okay, we got most of it off. Nice. All right, we're gonna go for Gelimer's Fury here. Uh, okay, he gripped me. We live this though. All right, Magma Missile time. Just back up. It looks like he was just absorbing them all. That was crazy cool looking. All right, and we just stay back here. Throw these massive rocks at him. All right. Ow. Dodge. Boom. Yeah, horror loot. Take that. Chill, chill, chill. Ow. All right. Time for you to pass away, my friend. There we go. Level up our vigor 35, mine to 30, and it is time for for the first for the first phase. We're gonna use the axe, and then the second phase we will use magic. All right, Radagon, let us use magma crush here, giving a lot of damage. Holy! Jump hits, and we just gotta keep aggression on Radagon and we can't get caught by these attacks I'm going to heal up nice poise break let's get the repost off I wonder how much this will do 3.5k holy and then we followed up with this damn oh we're doubling up <laughs> that did so much damage boom oh we can't even go for hits on this All right, we're going for it here. Boom. <laughs> Holy. Oh, he's going for it again. What a madman. All right, we're going for this again then. Frick you, dude. All right, Radagon is dead. All right, let's switch everything back. And time for Roiling Magma time. Because this is, oh my God. That is crazy damage. And we're just gonna spam- Oh, he landed right in it. Oh! <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. Just- just wow. Okay, nice and close. Charge this up. Boom! 3k. Charge it up. Oh, we get another 3k. It's just doing way too much damage to even be considered fair. Will they track him down in the sky? Uh, we'll see if his HP starts dropping. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's getting them. They are on a mission. They do not care. Okay, nice. Oh, is it gonna blow up beside him? Oh my god, that was 10 case consistent damage. And he's in rings once again. All right, we'll send this after him. All right, let's go for Inferno actually. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go for Inferno here. Let's see if it'll connect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> he just got deleted. What was that? I'm literally jaw dropped. Uh, you know what? Uh, 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 subscribe. Goodbye.